Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today record is the li the champion liar. So let's get started. The champion liar. There once was a king who had a daughter, and she was such an accomplished liar that no one in the kingdom could equal her. So the king let it be known that the person who could lie so well to the princess that he could make her say, you're a bigger liar than I am, would get both the princess and half the country. There were many who tried, for no man easily turns down a beautiful princess and a fortune in land, but all of them told such poor lies, so small and unimaginative, but the princess dismissed them with contempt. <laughs> then there were three brothers who were anxious to try their luck. The two eldest tried first, but they did no better than all of the others, and maybe a little bit worse. So the youngest, a stable boy, wanted to try, and he met the princess as he was in the stable. Good morning, princess. Lovely to meet you. Good day, stable boy. It's lovely to meet you, too. Of course, you don't have as big a barn as we do. Our barn is so big that when a goat herd stands at one end and the shepherd stands at the other, they can call and holler as loud as they please. But they still won't be able to hear one another. <laughs> oh, our barn's much bigger. I mean... When a cow meets up with a bull at the east wall, she gives birth to the calf before she can reach the west wall. <laughs> really? Well, you haven't as big an ox as we do. When a man sits on one horn and a woman sits on the other, one can't touch the other with a 12-foot pole. Boring. We've got an ox so big that when a lass is sitting on each horn blowing a flute, one can't hear what the other is playing. But even so, you don't have as much milk as we do. We milk into huge troughs and carry it in and pour it into gigantic pots and put it in enormous cheeses. <laughs> well, we milk. Enormous brewing vats and curdled cheeses as big as barns. And then we have a white mare to tread the cheese. I remember once the mare gave birth to a colt in the cheese. And after we'd been eating cheese for seven years, we came upon a big white horse. I was going to ride it to the mill one day, but its backbone broke. Well, I knew how to fix that. I took a fir tree and I put it in for a backbone. No other back did that horse have as long as we kept it. But unfortunately, that tree grew and became so tall that I climbed it up to heaven. One day, when I got there, St. Francis was weaving a strong rope of barley soup. Really? Then the tree broke and I couldn't get down again. So the saint lowered me down one of the ropes and I landed in a fox's den. And there sat my mother and your father mending shoes. And suddenly my mother hit your father such a blow that the dandruff flew off his head. <laughs> really? At this, the princess gasped. This was too much even for her. Well, you're a bigger liar than I am. My father's never had dandruff in his life. Oh, I said it, didn't I? Well, I guess you win. But after we're married, you better not tell such tall tales again. So the younger brother got to marry the beautiful princess and received a fortune in land as well. So that was the champion liar. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And we'll have another video coming out real soon.